with the youth population expected to reach 830 million by 2050, Sub-Saharan Africa is challenged to tackle youth unemployment and address the mismatch between graduate skills and industry demands. La jeunesse africaine a besoin d'être capacité, d'avoir des compétences techniques pour pouvoir répondre aux besoins du marché du travail. The situation is compounded by rapid technological advancement in automation, digitalization, and artificial intelligence. This requires higher education to respond by upgrading the knowledge and skill sets of graduates. Education and skills development is uh, the foundation for building an inclusive, equitable, and prosperous future for Africa. It's essential to build an innovative workforce to reap the benefits of the fourth. Industrial revolution with high technical skills. Africa has got a critical mass of these young and very smart people, and then it's time for us to actually harness this、um, this mass to be able to make the continent the next, you know, economic hub for the world. The China Funding Trust (CFIT) Phase Three: Higher Technical Education in Africa for a Technical and Innovative Workforce was initiated with the signing of an agreement between People's Republic of China and UNESCO. In October 2019, the overall objective of the project is to enhance the capacity of higher education institutions to respond to the skill needs for national development. We are more delighted to be part of this project because we will be enabled to have strong capacity in delivering quality curriculum to our quality learners, which will result into employability. And addressing the unemployment question of our most graduates. Technology is changing our world rapidly. We need to support the youth, give them opportunities to acquire the skills for technology that will enable their future. And this will also help the countries in Africa to transform their economy. This is also why we initiated the China Funds in Trust project in higher technical education specifically. The project has four expected outcomes. Outcome one. Effective utilization of information from labor market analysis, curriculum, and program review, and graduate tracking to improve the delivery of higher technical education. Outcome two: improvement of the quality and relevance of curricula and programs in higher education institutions, which promotes inclusiveness and gender equality. Outcome three: reform of assessment methods in higher education institutions. To strengthen competence-based training, outcome four: consolidation of partnership and cooperation between government, universities, and the industry. The CFIT projects covers six countries: Cote d'Ivoire, Ethiopia, Gabon, Senegal, the United Republic of Tanzania, and Uganda. Direct beneficiaries include higher education institutions. As well as graduate students enrolled in higher technical education programs, underpinning the CFIT project is a vision for inclusive, equitable, and prosperous societies. The project will support participating countries to upgrade the skills of their workforce, enhance youth employability, and promote national socio-economic development. Empowering the youth through skills development in higher technical education. Is key to turning challenges into opportunities. It requires efforts to better support the transition from school to work, with incentives to companies and public-private partnerships. In this regard, we need to work together. Only together can we put our best foot forward, and so can the youth of Africa become empowered in our future.